Well, Richie, the deal is done. How does it feel to sign for Hull City? Now it's a great feeling. Um, I'm just happy to be here and just can't wait to get started. Um, my career's stalled a little bit the last 18 months, but I'm coming here, I'm going to hit the ground running and um, hopefully pick up some results and get Hull back where they belong. What is it about Hull City that made you want to sign for the club and, and commit to that three-year deal? Um, well, I, obviously I've, I know about Hull City, I know where they've been, like, which leagues they're in and where, where they want to get back to. Um, it's not really a League One club, it, it, it's a bigger club than that, but we are where we are and we, we need to get, get ourselves out of it and um, I'm coming here to do my utmost best to, to try and do that. You've joined quite a, a young squad as well, are you, are you happy to provide some experience? You've got three, 300 uh, plus career appearances to your name, will that help give, uh, giving that experience to the younger lads? Yeah, I hope so. Um, obviously I've watched Hull for a number of years, uh, played against them and I've always got some talented players. Um, Maybe they've just lacked some experience in the last few years and a bit of know-how. Um, so hopefully I can come in and, and do that and nurture them a little bit and give them the freedom to go out and win us, win us some games. Obviously fond, fond times at, at Blackburn, but now looking forward to the next chapter of your career here at, at Hull City? Yeah, of course. Um, like I said, um, I had the best 18 months of my career. Um, 18, well, obviously when I first signed for Blackburn and then probably the worst 18 months of my career. Um, the last 18 months, so I'm coming here to get started back up again and um, I'm going to fight for my place and I'm going to earn it and I'm going to, I'm going to give everything that I've got to, to try and um, get some results at Hull City. And just for those Hull City fans who haven't seen you play, um, how would you describe your style of play? Um, I'm combative, um, like to aggressive, um, talker, um, I can pass the ball, um, do just a little bit of everything really. Um, I would like to add a few more goals to my game but um, Mainly just to support, support a midfielder, um, su supply the ball to the to the talented lads who can go on and win us the games and that, and just be supportive of that and do all the dirty work, as I say. That's it. And uh, no strangers to League One as well. With two promotion-winning campaigns with Rotherham and Blackburn, are you hoping to make it a, a hat trick this this time round? Yeah, of course. Um, no one, no one here wants to be in this division for for too long. So that's that's got to be our aim. And um, but we're under no illusions. We know it's going to be tough. We know it's hard. It's a hard league. Um, the players will soon realise that if they don't already. Um, you've got to take it game by game and tick each one as it comes. Um, it's been a couple of seasons since you were last in, in League One. How much do you think you've grown and developed as a player since then? Well, I think you're always growing and you're always learning. So it's, I think it's just without playing the games, I've been around a good set of lads, uh, a good club in Blackburn. So I think I've matured obviously a little bit and just more just more composed, um, but while still keeping that um, combative edge. Um, so I think you just you always learn and you're always maturing. And um, the last 18 months has been a learning curve, and um, when I'm going to put it firmly behind me and move on. As you've just touched on there, there was there was only two appearances for yourself last season. So aiming to put that frustration behind you and, and look ahead this season uh, in League One with Hull City. Yeah, absolutely. Um, get back playing playing some league games, get some uh, um, career apps under my under my belt. Um, because the last 18 months I said what, what's been probably the worst of my career so I'm just back, get enjoying it again and um, working hard and getting down the business. It's a bit of a weird, a weird pre-season, it's short and, and very different. Um, the only focus, focus now is uh, working hard to make sure we're ready for the, for the opening day really. Yeah that's what pre-season's about, um, you keep up the base fitness over the course while you're off. And obviously we've had lockdown and everyone's been sent work to do and everyone looks like they've done that and um, just when you come back in to get in touch with the ball just all working towards that first game of the season or maybe the cup game, whatever, I think it's the week before. Um, just working towards that and make sure we're right, bang on it and get off to a good flying start. And although it's going to be uh, a short pre-season, it's going to be uh, intense. Um, so will you release the challenges that, that look ahead over the coming weeks? Yeah, of course, can't, can't wait. Like I said, it's been, it's been a while since I've played, so just looking forward for the games to come thick and fast. It's what I'm used to, or what I was used to. I just can't wait for it. Um, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for, throughout the season, hopefully keep picking up the points along the way and put ourselves in a good, strong position. And finally, do you have a message for the Hull City fans who are looking forward to seeing you in action? Just enjoy, I'm going to um, I'll give everything I've got, and I'll do the best that I can, um, committed, and um, hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll like it.